This kitty wants some fresh catnip. Mmm, he wants fresh catnip. Oh, you, you lazy little butthead. Hey, kitty. Kitty. What's your fresh catnip, kitty? Hi, kitty. Let's go find the other two kitties. Hey, kitty, kitty. Kitty. No kitty here. Kitty in the closet. No kitty in the closet. One kitty. Two kitty. Simba. Checkers. <gasps> Bella kitty. And Charlie. There's another black and white cat, but he's a scary cat. So, the last video you watched, you're seeing my cat no plants outside. And you're seeing some of the dead leaves. I'm actually going to pick those, but I'm not going to dry them. Because those are bad. Those are bad leaves. Why do they have food and food bowls? My, like I said, my family is crazy. Anyone want some red velvet iced cake? Too bad, fine. Do do do, do do do, do do do. Let's try some scissors. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> scissors. Ha la la la. Hey guys. You should probably go to Ikea. Yeah. Ikea! My mom was like obsessed. I don't know why. So now we are outside. And now, we have to cut their plant. Shh, we have to cut their plant. It's okay, we have to cut their plant. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, there's still some stuff left in there from last time. I fed them things. Ah! The camera. I can you see a joke on. Oh my god, I think I'm going. So what I like to do is I trim every leaf. Well, not every leaf, because they obviously need leaves to survive. But there's two leaves per. There, there's a branch. And then it branches off with two branches to two leaves. Or with one leaf on each branch. What I like to do is just cut off its opposite. Like right near the stem. So my cats, I don't know why, but they like the stem, so I like to save them for them. Like this. This is some of the bad, one of the bad leaves. So I just throw that. Let the wind take it away. Or I just snip it and let it, let the nutrients or whatnot, head back into my garden. A little stuffed up. I don't know why. Uh, but you guys, if you go around, you probably find some catnip plants. If you squeeze the leaf, and you know what catnip smells like? By God, it smells. Like all you have to do is stand like two feet away and it'll smell like catnip. Ow. Okay, so, a little bug in here, and snip. I mean, look how big that sucker is. Yeah, but later on this year, it'll be budding. It'll actually have buds on it. And you pick those when they're sticky and gray. And then you dry them out. And if you have cats, my God, will they love you. Yeah, so this is just a slow and... 
easy process here. No matter if it gets in the dirt because heck. Cats don't give cats don't care. I don't give a shit. You can either go for the big leaves. I prefer you go for the stuff that's already branched off and like not that stuff, which is just coming out. I don't know if you can see that because I'm too busy. I feel like looking. So, yeah. Right here. 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 I bought this jar from an old lady, so it kind of stinks. So what I do is... I'll just close it up. Now we head back inside for the rest of the process. So I'll show you everything that I got from that quick little snippet. And when you snip it, the plant actually likes it. I have no idea why. It just does. Because I snipped that plant like hi kitty. I snipped that plant like three times already. And it's grown back. Oh my god. I hope you guys seen that. I don't know. I, I really do hope you guys seen that. Because my camera just has a mind of its own sometimes. But if not, oh well. I'll do another video later on. Or I'll just go finish snipping it up. And do it again. Um... Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, I like the Avengers. Got a problem with that? If you do, that sucks. So, uh, I'm going to get this light. If anyone else is watching this, drinks out of the carton of the milk. Leave a comment below, because I do it all the time. I don't know why. Well, this is what we got. Five or six big leaves. Or maybe even more. Yeah, there's more than that in there. Blah, 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 blah. Now what I do is we have store bought stuff, and like I said, we got it from an old lady. So I just like, and it sort of smells, and even though I've washed it, I just like to take a bit of it. Plus it also sucks up some of that hydration. I just I just pour a little bit in there. Let's go over here and better lighting. See, it's, it's all on top. And then, what I'll do is hit the jar, close it, seal it up, shake it, and plus there's still some leaves in here from, uh, Better go. Now here, let me grab out a leaf from today. Let's see if one of my cats will eat it. And then what I do is I take my jar. And I have a window for this because it gets sunny in this window. Usually every day, so I don't mind it. Since it's a tinted jar, it gets more sunlight, I just throw it in the window. For a couple weeks till you know, I feel. Because my cats don't like it dry, nor do they like it extremely fresh. So what I like to do is I just dry it out for a few weeks to a month or so. And then I find one of my kitties. And if you squeeze it, like I said, so all you have to do is take it and just press. And I'll get off, get off that nasty catnip smell. 
And then just come over to your kitties and go. Shut up, cat. I ain't giving it to you yet. I'm gonna fix it. Oh, dang, that's that smell. Let's take the leaf. Yes, this is a trumpet case. You hold it in front of the kitty. Hey, kitty. And boom. Kitty eats the leaf. Oh, voila. Just like that. So. Black Ops 2. Maybe today. Not really sure. I'll try. I also need to get a better camera. So, if you guys want to, donate. Please. Donate. So I need... A new camera, because this camera is like pff, 11 years old, old, almost older than me, probably. So please donate if you can. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm.